that you're doing and it's not working. I hate drawings. I hate drawings. Like, hate, hate, hate drawings. And the reason is, you really can't fix the way they're moving with them. Um, I pretty much never train in anything. I can't show it. So, like, with drawings, especially when you're going around on a horse that's like a real horse like that, you're going to encourage them to be on their front end and see issues like what you're talking about. Um, because they're just meeting them and pushing into them. They're not traveling the way they need to be traveling with their body. And it's kind of making you believe that they are because because you can pick up on them and pull on them and, and it's not, it doesn't feel like you're forcing them, but it is. And it really causes, I mean, that's like, if you would have said, I go around with my horse and draw rings, what do you think my problem is? I could have probably predicted it. Because even if you go to try to fix it afterward, you're just pulling on leverage there and, and there's really no feel for release with draw reins. Even if you ride, I mean, you have to be so handy to use training tools. I mean, I'm not saying that I've never used a training tool, but for the most part, to use a training tool effectively, you have to be handier than you have to be to get the same thing done with no training tools. So, you know, what happens on... Uh, I do use draw reins in one instance, and that's when I'm changing leads on a horse, and it's because I'm usually going pretty fast. Okay, so that's okay as long as you have a lot of forward movement and draw reins, and you know you just want to be really careful that you don't end up drawing them down onto their front end. So I mean that takes a lot of practice. For the most part, I only use draw reins on a horse that wants to get really lifty and leapy already through their through their lead changes, which they will do. Or if they can evade my hands. You know, because what will happen is you start going across and pushing a horse's hip in for their lead changes, and they're going to try to evade you somewhere, and the easiest way is to just kind of come up out of the bridle. Right. 